forgiven. You know, we go out soul winning, we preach the gospel to people. Anyone that's saved knows that salvation is just a free gift. It's something that you receive for free. You didn't have to work for it. You don't pay for it. You don't earn it. You receive it for free. And sometimes receiving a gift can get lost on the person receiving it of how much actually went into getting that gift ready for you, getting that gift paid for, everything that needed to be done for that gift just to be, all you have to do is receive it for free. Just take it. Just accept it. That's easy. But everything that went into that gift, there's a lot that went into it. And we need to take a step back and, and give recognition and honor unto the gift giver and, and everything that went into it to, to get our hearts right, to get our minds right. It's easy this time of year to get distracted with commercialism, with, with other things that just don't matter, with spending money, with all this other stuff. Let's not forget the whole point and the whole reason. And, you know, honestly, one of the reasons why we even give gifts, see, the, the, <coughs> the, the um, producers of goods out there, they love it when people go out and buy gifts, right? Because you're buying their stuff. Uh, but let's not get to the point to where Christmas becomes more about buying stuff than it does about what, what are we even celebrating. And see, the reason why we give gifts is I believe it's an honor. Well, the reason why we give gifts is because we love people. We want to do something nice for them, but it's not, it shouldn't ever be out of obligation. It should never be out of obligation. You're not obligated. You know, and, and this is where we get to, right? Do, do you have traditions? And then we, it turns into, oh, well, I have, to, I have to buy a gift for this person, this person, this person. I hope, I hope people, at least when it comes to me, realize don't, no one ever has to buy me a gift. Now, I know you guys are thinking like, I didn't think I had to anyways, <laughs> which is good because you shouldn't be thinking that. Usually it's people within family and stuff like that, right? You're always thinking like, well, I have to get a present for this person, that person. You don't have to. You should, the only time you should ever give a gift is because you want to, because then it's going to actually mean something. You're not just checking off a box. If you actually care about someone, you love them, you're an offering. We don't want to cheapen the gift. And we definitely don't want to cheapen the gift that God gave for us. Now, we get accused of that. There's a, there's a phrase out there. People will, will accuse us of believing in cheap grace. Has anyone ever heard that before? And the reason why they call it cheap grace is because they don't like the fact that we believe what the Bible says, that it's not of works, that you actually receive it for free. And no, if you go off and, and, and go into sin and willfully sin, you still don't lose that free gift. It still actually belongs to you because you didn't earn it to begin with. You don't have to keep it by doing good. It's given to you for free because God loves you. And the only thing you have to do to accept that gift is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Amen. Amen. That's what the Bible says.